greater power. And a negative energy and positive energy, you know what I mean? There's no other way. So what I'm going to be working on in the next couple of days is to redesign my box, my package that I have online in a way where it, go, it gets to the point much faster and it gives people a, a, a quicker idea of what I go through. It's the only way. And then I'll let the word out. Everywhere, everywhere, worldwide. Calling every number, sending businesses emails, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I'd have to sit on the internet for about a year. Every day there has to be at least over two, three, four thousand places contacted to let them know about my situation because those places exist outside of my prison and I can't let them know who I'm gonna contact because then they're not gonna be prepared to cap them. There's no other way. That's one element that I can start um, sowing the seeds for from now. And I have a couple of other elements that I can, you know, start to sow the seeds and hopefully make them grow into nice trees. And one day, one of these trees will be responsible for my freedom. And that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching my show. This is Truman himself, uh, your host. Right from the bubble, the middle of the bubble, uh, broadcasting live. Um, hopefully one day I can grab my phone and broadcast to you guys from outside of the bubble where you really don't need to see because that's the life you live. Um, hopefully that day will be soon. While I still, uh, I'm still a little bit young, I have my youth and vitality. I'm not that young anymore. You know, I'm getting to the age where soon I'm going to be, you know, I still have a lot of time left. Uh, it doesn't matter the number. I'm the kind of guy who it's all about how you feel. And believe me when I tell you, I feel like I'm 20 years old. And I can do things better than most 20 year olds. Um, so, guys, hopefully, see this is, this. Look, look what happens when you detach, look, look how beautiful this is, look, 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 look how beautiful this is, I can breathe, my God, look how nice this is, guys, I just, this is like, to a heroin addict, guys, I just, I just did a, you know, a nice heroin shot right now, you know, to a guy that loves women, I just had sex with Marilyn Monroe right now. I don't know. To a guy that loves uh, pizza, I just landed in, you know, in Italy. And by the way, guys, pizza is not an Italian invention. It's French, in case you didn't know. But, you know, you know me. I always like to say those smart-ass things. Mention something at the end of my... Uh... <coughs> Excuse me, that was a real cough, by the way. Video. Um, so, we're getting closer to a, um, uh, I don't know, a uh, strange uh, phase. I really sense that the next uh, couple of weeks are going to be strange. How? I don't know. It's been strange all along. Calling it strange would be the under biggest understatement of the century. Um, everything's strange in my world, including me. Uh, but... I mean, certain things are going to happen that they were not, you know, being able to read or didn't happen before. Um, I feel fucking great today. I've never walked downtown for this long and felt this good. Um, I completely detached. My, you guys are my buddy. You know, I'm talking to you here. We're, we're, we're bonding. And everything around me doesn't exist. But that's the thing that proves to you how my world... If you had one person, only one, to deal with, to talk to, even, none of it affects you. It's when you're all alone. And it's when you're being daily bombarded with um, war. Daily, daily, on, 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 a, on a second basis. You're being bombarded with all these things that are not good for you. And which will, you know... 
harm you. Big time, you know. And as because they could see the way I look and the way I feel and they're listening to me, they keep on making extra noise. But this proves to you what I'm going through. That I'm all alone. I don't even have to mention it. Now why would a guy like me not have one person to even go to a coffee shop and have a conversation with? Why? Why? How come? Oh, this is going to be our next set of videos. If I forget about it, remind me. We're going to try to approach people that are just sitting in normal places and talk to them to show you the reaction I get from them. So you know the nature of my world. That's how I can prove to you that these people are fake. Watch how they're going to treat me. Watch what the response is going to be. It's going to be nothing but normal. It doesn't matter whether they say no, or they tell you to fuck off, or they talk, or whatever they do. That's not the point. It's the way they're going to do it. You're going to sense the unnatural, uh, fake, evil response from the energy they vibrate. You're going to see that on video. This is going to be our next step <coughs> to show how fake that these people are not just there minding their own business eating or they're on a date or they're you know talking to their daughter or they're trying to calm down their kid that's crying that's not the case they're there to do something else and that's what i'm gonna prove to you on video i will prove that to you let's see how they're gonna redesign that fucking apple You know, to show you that if you're in my shoes or if you yourself outside in the real world would have done those things, you would not have gotten the same replies. Okay? Slowly but surely, we're going to tap into that to show you how, what's going to happen to me as I approach every single one of these people in a nice way, in a proper way, not in a offensive or, you know, uh, mean or... Um, What's what I'm looking for? A sexually motivated way, if it's a woman, or none of, none of that. We're going to do it in a nice, uh, sort of normal fashion that we're, you know, um, in good in with good intentions. And I want you guys to see the results I get, the responses, to prove to you that the people I'm surrounded with are not your everyday normal people doing everyday normal things. That's how you can prove it, more than anything. It's the response I get. Now you can already tell from everything around me. Just by looking at their faces, you can tell what they're trying to vibrate to me, what kind of energy. But we're gonna dive more into that. So like I said, guys, no matter what I do, eventually, it's a simple mathematical equation. The more we go forward, it's a winning battle for me and a losing battle for them. Regardless of what they do. Regardless of how many countries they make it like this for me to get there and see this shit. Not being able to tap into real people. Regardless of what they do. Even from within the bubble. The heart of the bubble. Which is right around me, usually. That's the heart of the bubble. My 100 meter radius. That's the heart of the bubble. I will cause a ripple effect and change things. That was my promise to the entity that's doing this to me. They're comfortable from my own seat. Just how they flip things upside down, I will flip them back straight. How? I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm going to have to go with the flow and let my natural talents take over and work. That's my battle. It's a very tough one. Probably the toughest battle anyone could ever have on the planet nowadays. But I have to do it. I have no choice. It's the only way out. So, um, it's whatever the So I heard that in Arabic what that lady said, something akhir ash hada. Akhir ash hada could mean in Arabic 
uh, in the end this guy lived, oh, or I don't believe that this guy's gonna live in the end, or is he gonna live in the end? It means something like that in Arabic. Akhir is the last. Ash is to survive or live. Hada is this person. Those what those words mean. You can flip them in any other way to try to see what she means by that. But just to even show you that my surroundings, whoever I bump into, it's a toxic, venomous injection of psychological warfare or sort of a message or we're going to kill you or you're stepping into dangerous grounds or whatever the case may be, whatever the situation is at that point. And it was said to me in Arabic, my main language. And I can't stop hearing the siren. But today, more than anything, what we have accomplished, something that I didn't mention that I was going to do, I couldn't because they tapped my phone, then they'll know what I'm going to do, is to come downtown and show my enemy another thing. What I have showed him yesterday in his gang stalking battle in Scarborough Town Center, if you look at the video from yesterday, in the playground where I was at. I'm gonna say it to him again. In this prison, I'm the man and you're the bitch. Do never think that it's gonna be the other way around. Because it was like that for years, because I didn't know what I was up for. But now I do. And please get it out of your thick skull that I will always be in control in my own prison. That's what the message that I wanted to send him today. That even if I come down here with all this busyness, all those people, all this commotion, not a small stage like Scarborough Town Center or the, the, the stage where I, where I was at when we did whatever we did. This is a bigger one. It's got more, you know, uh, this, it's a bigger design, more flavor. I am still the man down here, and you're still the bitch. Do not forget that. If you want next, I can take him to New York City and do the same. I'm pretty sure a couple of, uh, if I do go to New York City, I have two people that I talk to on the internet will be very happy to have me there. One in Manhattan, one in Brooklyn. We could do the same thing. And if these two, you know, ever feel that I've been sort of detached from them or ignoring them or not, you know, trying to, uh, I don't know, not, you know, there paying attention with them, forgive me, that's not what you think. It's my situation, my circumstances, what I'm going through right now. and. I'm pretty sure my good intentions will let you know that, you know, I always say that to anybody out there that I do deal with or talk to through my channel or comment or even something as, as little as a small comment, if I ever not reply to you or, you know, even say something that seems off or wrong, please reply, be clear, always be direct and straight up with me, and I'm pretty sure we'll resolve it because... I do not have any intention to do any little harm or even tick someone off or insult someone, whoever they may be, even my enemy. I will never have these intentions with them. Okay? So, we've had a nice run, nice walk. Today, I told you at the beginning of the video, I came down here to do certain things. I didn't mean to lie, it's not a lie. I just had to misdirect my enemy. I always have to do that every day. I cannot let him know what I'm doing. Because if I do, he will get prepared and it won't be as pleasant for me. I'm not that kind of person. I usually like to do those things. And so far with him, I've been pretty honest and straight up. I always tell him, you know what? I'm gonna do this next before I do it. And he prepares himself, changes the people there, does whatever he does, and I've been losing. <laughs> so in certain situations, obviously it's something that I've already known. Honesty ain't the best policy, guys. <laughs> Pretty sure a five-year-old kid knows that. 
In some situations, yes, but not at all. So, sirens, cops, ambulances, whatever it is. When you learn how to properly detach from this, the whole world can crumble, a nuclear weapon can land around you, and nothing will affect you. But that's one thing that this stupid entity does not know. That every single one of us is capable of doing this. Every single human being is capable of doing this. The idea is, the problem is, is that division doesn't allow them to grasp that, to understand that. There's too much division all over the place. And the unity that does exist lately, it's unity about something that doesn't really do anything for them. Doesn't nurture them or make them grow on the inside. It's unity to start a party uh, or have a or sex orgy or unity to uh, start a business that's going to make millions or unity that's... So it's, it's all about what they're uniting to do. When was the last time a group of people in the last 40, 50 years united? I shouldn't say that, that's wrong, but for example to make themselves feel better about themselves. Nothing more. Nothing. Nothing else. Not to uh, have a tea party, not to uh, go for a beer, not to, uh, you know, just for them to compliment themselves and feel better about themselves. A group of a hundred people. When? Never. But that's what people used to do back in the days, guys. Okay? Guys, let me tell you something about, not that there's anything wrong with it, or not that, that I'm against it, I'm actually a part of it. And it's a beautiful thing, immigration. But let me tell you the main intention of it. Why, the, the, why in the last 50 years we've seen such a huge flow of immigration from all these countries, from one country to another. Okay guys, let me tell you the tactics, the intention of these people, and why they want that agenda to be applied. First, They want to mix people up for one reason. If you're all different ethnic backgrounds together, you're more divided. You can't fight back as easy. Not that you can't, you still can. Look, your color has nothing to do with what kind of soul you have. But in general, you're more divided. Second, is to break up countries and have a... Uh, sort of a get people off the natural grid I call it and put them on the fake grid that they built what does that mean guys natural grid is when you're born in a forest your house is made out of wood you plant you eat from the ground whatever you plant you don't use money and you may close out of your sheep to put on in winter time. Okay, for the longest time we've lived like that. Now to take you off that grid and to bring you to this Bitcoin grid, to use the word Bitcoin is to use the latest in digital technology in the monetary system to take you off the, you know, paper money to the digital money. Now, let's take it back from the forest grid to the Bitcoin grid. How could they do that? How? How could they get you off a grid that's so comfortable, so natural, everything feels good, um, no worries of money or paying debts, and food is plenty. It's in the ground. And you're the owner of your own land, of your own home. Nobody can tell you if you don't pay me the rent, I'll throw you out. That's the process to get you from there to there, guys. Because the Bitcoin grid, let me tell you what it consists of. It consists of you depending on them completely, 100%. You have to depend on them. 
in ways of where you live, in ways of where you, your, the, the rent you pay, in ways of the amount of money that you have in the bank. Gold is something that has value from within. They use gold back in the days to value money and to use as, you know, a monetary uh, object to be able to exchange goods and services. How could they get you from gold to Bitcoin? They're not going to do it overnight. Okay, guys, say tomorrow, give us back all your gold. We're going to give you a digital account, microchip you, and through that you can live. doesn't work that way. They took you off the gold into paper. It's pretty much a promissory note that says, this is worth this much. It doesn't have the value inside of it. Now, the next step is off the paper into the digital numbers, which is if they're sitting at home one day, they decide they go into your bank account. Okay, well, you know what? I don't like this guy having one million. Let's take out three zeros from this side. As simple as erasing them. And they only have a thousand dollars now. Who are you going to go to? Who? To complain about this. Look at me, stuck in my bubble, trying to complain about lawyers, trying to complain to this, trying to complain to that. Who, what am I getting? The result of a world that they control. What's the result that I'm getting? But I am an experiment to see if they could do this to all of you. What you people don't know. That's what Bitcoin's going to do. Completely enslave you. This, my life, my bubble was a preparation, an experiment done to the world to me to prepare the world to learn from my actions and my unique way of thinking and how they could enslave the whole planet guys once we all jump on Bitcoin all of us and not use paper money at all anymore not use any kind of monetary system but that and have all the stores everything out there designed in a way where they won't be able to accept anything but that but the digital currency you will be living a life worse than mine worse I guarantee you that college worse That's the whole point. Now I know these videos, very few people, few people are going to be able to see them. Because believe it or not, they do have the power on YouTube or Google or anywhere to prevent my video to appear in searches anywhere they want. Just how they cocoon me physically here, they can cocoon me on the internet too, bubble me up in a bubble. So, very few normal people will have access to it. People that will just search for things, and if my certain video is named a certain, in a certain way, it's supposed to appear on a certain channel, sorry, in a certain search in Google, it won't. And the videos that they want people to see will appear right on top. They have the power to do that, guys. Otherwise, those platforms won't exist. They're not going to take the risk of exposing their whole system, letting it crash now in the end. You gotta remember it's a house of cards. You gotta grab one of them cards and rattle the living crap out of it until it falls. Because once the card falls, the whole house will collapse. This applies to you guys out there in the real world, in your world, and in mine. Mine is much smaller, it's a bubble, but it's much more intense. But the card that I'm rattling will fall much faster than the card outside. So, just like how they made this experiment to see, to apply certain things they learn of me to the real world, what's going to happen now is, I'm going to give them the other version. I'm going to show them how inside the bubble that they've created for this guinea pig, he's going to rattle the card and he's going to show them how it's going to fall soon and the whole house is going to collapse and that's going to be an experiment, an idea of how it's going to happen on the outside. What goes around, comes around. Subway, listen, when I pass, okay, that's what they don't know. 
this is why they're trying to hold on to this so tight. They don't want to let it go because it exemplifies a lot more than the freedom of one individual. It's an idea that they're trying to cap, that they're trying to prevent the educated out there from seeing it because it's the same thing. My world is designed exactly like yours. Mine is a more intense version of it and a smaller bubbled up version, very intense. If the intensity in your world is 1% and mine is a thousand. So in your world, if throughout your day, a normal man sees one attractive woman wearing a skirt, uh, he's on the internet a couple hours, he sees one ad for a porn site. In my world, my friend, I would have seen a thousand and 10,000 ads for porn sites. That's the difference between me and you. That's the difference from my bubble and the outside world. It's just a lot more intense. It's a uh, concentrated version of, it's the resin of what's happening out there. It's a concentrated version of what they're doing on the outside world. This is why they're trying to hold on to it dearly and tightly. They don't want it. Well, because why else when they let one stupid human being like me have his freedom? Who gives a shit? Why would they go through all this charade and spend all that money and, and stop all these businesses from functioning right and, and call all these beautiful women to come down show me their butts? Why would they do that? Why? Because this is not about freedom for one individual. This is a lot more than that. This is an idea. Because if this idea collapses, the outside idea collapses too. That's real psychological warfare. Do you guys get it? What's happening here? My life is a concentrated version of the life that you guys have out there. If this one doesn't work, it means the outside one won't. So they picked this perfect specimen almost. Sorry, it's not about ego here. I'm trying to give you the reality. To do this too, in order to learn from what's happening inside this bubble and apply it on the outside world. That's all, guys. This is the reason why my freedom is almost impossible on this planet. For that reason. Because I stand for something. I stand for the idea that if their small bubble doesn't work with me, everything they're doing on the outside ain't gonna work. And that is something these guys will do the impossible for to not to make happen. Okay, now, it's been over two hours. I don't know that many people that watch two hour videos. I'll try to split them up. I'm gonna make one, I'll upload everything together and I'll split it up into four pieces, especially this last part that I mentioned because it's very important for people to understand that my bubble is a concentrated extreme version of what's happening in the world outside today. And if this experiment fails, it means their experiment on the worldwide stage will be a failure. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know? This is what, what it's about. You think I don't know that it will be impossible for me to get my freedom or connect with normal people. You think I don't know that this world that will do the impossible to keep this happening. Guys, they closed downtown for four days last week to make this happen. Closed it up. Maybe not 100%, but a lot. If I come down and live here, they will close it if they had to, to keep this going. That's how important, not me, that's important as an idea, what I stand for as an entity. That's how important I am. Not me as an individual, but as an idea, as, a, as, a, as an example of their experiment that went disastrous, that failed. That means the outside experiment's gonna fail. And if I come out of this bubble, that means the whole house of cards outside is gonna collapse. Not because of me. Even if I go mind my own business, live a normal life, it's the idea, the, the, the ground, the, the institutions, the, the base of it, the... How do I explain this to you? The... Uh, the way the system is set up, the bottom part that you build in a building, the solid, the foundation. That's the word I'm looking for. 
then the foundations of the world that they have on the outside will shake. It won't work. Always ask yourself this question. They picked me when I was a week old. How did they know that I was gonna come out like this? How? Always ask yourself this question. And you will find a lot of answers that a lot of people don't know of for questions that they can never answer. Okay guys, we've talked a lot. A lot of intensity. I'm almost sweating. It was good, it was a fun walk. I needed this walk. It gave me everything I needed to get today in those two hours. I feel fucking amazing. I wish I brought some money with me so I can have a nice cold drink or a nice coffee. But at the same time, I'm thankful I didn't do that because I don't want to waste it on something that I could get at home. Unfortunately, I have to be disciplined enough to do this to myself because if not, I will collapse in this torturous bubble. I got to be very disciplined and I got to keep heading straight on my, you know, sort of goal in order to get what I need to get. I got to a point right now in my bubble to do things and know that my surroundings don't exist at all, at all. I don't look for them to them for confirmation. I don't look to them for, for anything, anything. I'm walking and right now around me, nothing exists, nothing, zero, zero. I could afford to do that now because I'm on a higher level in my bubble. I can understand what it's, what it's about. Maybe before I couldn't do it, maybe before I had to be entangled with them to get to a certain place, to a certain phase in our game and pick the right place and the right time to come out. And that's what I'm doing now. I've got to this situation, this, this, you know, in the last couple of days, and now it's almost done in terms of complete detachment, 100%. They're catching me with quick looks now, quick, uh, quick eyes, you know, trying to sort of get someone to walk really close to me to make me look that way. And then as soon as I look that way, you got a girl posing with her butt naked. I'm not kidding. That's how, they're, that's how desperate they are. Just a quick glance. So the setup, they're coming towards me, they're set up. They'll stop here, so I have to look this way to see this. That's how it's working, see that? Because I'm not looking at anything, I'm ignoring everything. That's how desperate they're getting now. They have to put stops for me in order to look here. As soon as I look here, I get boom, whatever they want to attack me with. But anyways, it's been a pleasure, guys. This has been one of the most fun videos I've had in a long time. This is episode five, I believe. I don't know if I'm wrong, it'll be probably six of the Truman Show. This is your host Truman, broadcasting live from the heart of the bubble. And hopefully one day, I will be able to make a video for you from outside of the bubble. Um, I will do whatever it takes to get there and hopefully that day will be soon. I am not the one that believes in miracles. I'm a very realistic person, but they do exist. Very seldom, maybe every thousand years you get one. You have to believe in that. You have to be like that. You have to, in order to be able to do what I do and get away with it and not let whatever is designed around it to affect you, you have to to get to this point what have I accomplished here today by doing this a lot more than you think it's they're small baby steps but in this war that we're fighting with these guys compared to them I am a baby a very small baby considering my uh, talent uh, not talents my uh, effort my uh, um, powers my uh, my tools to fight them with but it's okay. You know what I mean? They picked me as a baby in order to do this to me. Grown men with a lot of power and money picked a small child to do this to. And they failed. Do you know how fucking pathetic that is? You know how pathetic that is? One of the biggest entities on the planet picked up a small orphaned child and did this to him. And they still failed. 
Do you know what a blow that is to their ego? They failed, guys. A child. I was picked up as a child. Maybe I was a week year old or something. And I remember I see a couple of photos in my the hands of my fake mother. Hey, child. It's pathetic. Now, the thing that's mind-boggling to these guys is the fact that I know who they are and who's done this to me, and I'm still not scared. <laughs> that's one thing they don't understand. They can't put two and two together with this one because they're the kind of people who like to get five out of two plus two. So now we relax, we have a smoke. Can't smile too much because if I smile with my mouth open, you'll see my rotten tooth here, look. It's embarrassing. That's something that was done to me through a dentist in Lebanon that was paid extra money. I had perfect teeth about five, six, seven years ago. Not even, yeah, six years, five years, mid-30s, almost late-30s. What he did to me is I was so high on drugs, didn't know what the fuck's going on. I trusted him. I would go in there. He'd drill most of the teeth in half, break them, put a metal piece in there and cap them. And then a year later, when I was in Cuba, two years later, they started to rot because they're all broken. They're cracked in half and still attached to the roots. That's how I lost them all. Intentionally. Now, you ask yourself, why did they do this to you? What did they gain out of it? Well, a man, when he looks at himself in the mirror and he has no teeth, he'll get depressed. It's to keep you always miserable. And on top of it, you know what they did? Look, they took out the top of the side, the whack, and the bottom of this side, the bottom. Look, do you know what that does to a man or a woman, anybody, a human being when they're eating? Guys, the top is missing from one side. The bottom is missing from the other side. You can't eat. You'll always bite your tongue. You can't chew properly. It's designed specifically for you to bite your tongue if those areas are missing. Exactly those areas. One from one side, one from the other. And both, one from the top, the other from the bottom. How did I figure it out? Because I go through it. Nobody can figure this out unless you go through it. When I have to chew something like meat or anything, I bite my tongue. Now, I can't even eat properly. That's for me not to be able to enjoy my food either. That gets you more depressed. I'm in a world designed to keep me dismantled, depressed, miserable, rejected, uh, no self-esteem, no self-value, no self-worth, feel like I'm hated by everybody, feel like everyone's against me. Guys, this is an extreme version of what's happening to the world on the outside today. The same people who run yours run my intense fake bubble. That's how they've learned to apply a lot of tactics on your world from the experiences that they've had with my intense bubble. How else can they learn what to do to you? By experimenting on who? And the most special ones. Because what works on the special one will work on anyone. You get it? That's how it is, guys. That's how experiments are done. Experiments aren't done on every t t Tom, Dick, and Harry. Anyone that just... No, they have to be done on people who can handle them. People who have certain abilities and talents that others don't. Because... When the experiment is done on this sort of specimen, almost perfect specimen, what works on him will definitely work on the other. And what doesn't work on him will definitely won't work on the other in different ways, in different terms. In some ways, no, they will. So, my intense small bubble experiment went wrong. I woke up, which is really good news for you guys out there. Really good news because they're doing tests on the human species to see how much pain we can handle, uh, how much, uh, what keeps us striving forward, resisting, fighting, uh, how much, um, everything, everything. They're, they're experimenting on us on a wide scale in every single little thing that we're made out of. Now, this, they take whatever they experimented on with me and they try to apply it to your world in a very um, light, invisible fashion.
as invisible as possible. Basically, it, let me give you one example to prove that to you. In my world, there's a lot of disgusting things happening almost in every setting that I get to. People talking about disgusting things or seeing toilet paper or smelling bad smells or... In your world, they're doing the same. But you don't see it as much as I do. You don't hear about it as much as I do. You don't smell it as much as I do. Don't you notice that there's a lot of documentaries today, a lot of things talking about garbage pileup in the world? Citizens complaining in this area because there's a lot of garbage pileup, a lot of plastic pileup. Guys, you're hearing about it on a smaller, more minimal scale. Okay? Tell me if I'm wrong. Almost every person today knows when they look at other countries, whatever. Oh, there's a lot of garbage pile up here, garbage problems and this and that and whatever. Or other things that are disgusting. Look at the... I'm going to give you another example. My world consists of a lot of worry and threatening and fear. A lot. They want me always to be worried, 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 in fear, in fear, in fear. Intense. I'm the perfect guy to explain this to you because it's done intense to me. It's more noticeable than yours. Do you guys know all those why I made a YouTube video? Check it out. Tie back. No smoking. Stop smoking or please no smoking or something like that. I called the video. Do you know why they put those ugly pictures on the packs of cigarettes, guys? That's not to alert you that this is going to happen to you. Every idiot knows that smoking is not good for you and it could harm you. Do you know why? That's to keep you worried. Every time you open it, you see that picture to pull out a cigarette and smoke it for you to be worried every time so you don't end up enjoying your cigarette that way even. You don't enjoy it. Those are, I know, I know, these are very small elements, small tactics that won't affect 99% of the individuals, you know, just basically not even affect them, but yes, they do affect you on a very minimal scale that you can't even, subconsciously they affect you even though you think they don't. They do take away small bites, small pieces from you. So if they were gonna run this brutal experiment on someone intensely, but they couldn't run it on anybody, they had to pick someone strong enough to handle all this beating, all this torture, to handle all those punches over and over and over again. Otherwise the subject, the specimen, the guinea pig would give up in two weeks. But they had to pick someone strong to be able to take that beating and keep going. This is why I go back to that question. How did they know what I was going to be like at one week old? To show you guys that these people that run the world do tap into other realms. And it's not them that are coming out with the design that they have today in the world. It's not purely them. It's not coming out of a human mind. I don't want to get into topics like these because to some people they'll take away from the legitimacy and reality of my videos. But I want to mention something really quickly. There are other realms out there, guys. There are other realms. And there's a reason. See, now I'm talking to you about this topic. How many dogs on leashes you saw around me? One that came earlier. There's about six, seven now. and Because it's a very important topic. And they're telling me this information is not going anywhere. Look at that. They're telling me this information is not going anywhere. It stays with you and it's going to die with you. It's going to stay on a leash, basically. It ain't me that they care about. It's what I know and what I can do. It's what I'm capable of doing. It's my abilities that they don't want out there in society. Because I can shake things up quickly in a day or two. In a good way. Not in a stupid, illegal way or not turning people to hate each other or no, in a very good way. And that's not good. That's bad energy to get people off the grid of money. They're hooked on the money grid. My energy completely counter, uh, is the opposite of that. It counter affects that. The energy grid, the money grid, the technology grid that they have people attached to. I am the worst person to be out there as in terms of ideas, information, or radiating my energy, my know-hows, and the way they're going to feel around me. The worst. Look at the lineup of cars for me. Look. Look. There's nobody here. Everything around me is for me. Everything. 
and this three mile bubble guys everything that's all for me look how they're imprisoning me in plain sight look at the amount of money that they're spending okay I got to a certain point where uh, for some viewers I'm sorry I don't mean to say this to you but guys I really don't give a rat's ass anymore if you don't believe me okay I'm not out here to make you believe me or to prove anything to anybody I'm out here to put out this information in the best way I can <clears throat> to first not to alert people I'll be honest with you I'm more selfish than that first to free myself from this prison because I want to live I want to enjoy my life second if people can benefit from it let it be I will put some effort into that but not much I'll be very honest with you I'm doing this solely not so purely 100% for my own selfish reasons I want to get out of this evil prison now on the way if my actions can benefit certain people if they can help some people if I can cause a nice good energy ripple effect in society let it be I, I don't mind that I love that but I ain't gonna go out of my way to do that number two I'm all about number one to free myself from this hellhole that I live in so 